Greetings, fellow interloper. It's Taylor. Gotta be honest here, I just felt like making a different kind of video. I've got five No Man's Sky tips that I'm gonna throw out, and I'm super curious to know how many of these five that you guys actually know. Do you know all of them? Or maybe just one or two? At the end of the video, you'll get a grade, depending on your score. When the vid's over, comment down below on how you did. Obviously, this is the honor system, so I trust my loyal subscribers to do the right thing here. I took a stab at putting these in order of difficulty, on a hunch what you guys might already know. The fifth one is a doozy, so don't get overconfident if you're four for four. All right, let's do this. Coming in at number five. When you're at the space station and you decide to buy some mods, it's frustrating when you finally come across the specific S-Class mod you've been looking for, only to be limited to buying just one. Once you purchase your mod, head back to your spaceship and hop back out again to create a save. Reload your save and head back up to the vendor you just bought the mod from. You can see that their supply is now replenished and you can snag another. Number 4. When you're building your base, it can be a pain to worry about where you're placing all 10 of your storage vaults. Assuming you have all 10 unlocked, of course. For an easier option, put all of your storage on your freighter, and then you make sure to have the matter beam installed. Now, wherever you are, all you need to do is summon your freighter, and once you bring up your inventory menu, you can easily use the D-pad or arrows on PC to scroll over to each of your storage containers. Easy peasy. All right, I think we're gonna ratchet it up a little bit. Number three. When you're first starting out or starting a new save, one of the first things I like to do is get all of my drives installed so I can travel to any star color I want. What many don't realize is once you have your S-Class drive installed, also called the Indium drive, you no longer need the Cadmium and Emerald drives. As you can see here in my newest ship, the only drive I have installed is the Indium drive, yet I'm free to visit any star I choose. So if space is an issue on your ship, well, you now have two extra slots that you've just freed up. And as a bonus to number three, this also holds true with the Atlas Pass. Once you have version three, well, you can discard one and two and enjoy full access to all things Atlas. All right, number two. If you have a favorite spot to farm exotic ships, to scrap their mods for nanites, then you most likely have a nice inventory of storage augmentations laying around. A really fast way to make some serious money is to buy a ship you plan on scrapping and use these storage augmentations to expand its storage before scrapping. And I realize that's not the secret, because most of you probably are aware of this already. The trick that many don't realize is that you don't need to max out your ship inventory to get a nice payday. All you're looking for is to expand your main storage enough to activate a new row of spaces. You don't need to augment these spaces, just simply you have to reveal them. As you can see here, I bought this B-Class ship for just over a million, and once I applied a few augmentations and activated a new column of storage slots without actually filling these slots up, I sold it back for an easy 8 million units. You know, there's so many ways to make easy money in this game, and this is one of my favorites. Okay, the moment of truth. How many of you are a perfect 4 for 4 right now, I wonder? This is definitely going to help those who have been watching my videos. This is just, quite frankly, too good not to put on the list, but I still feel like many don't know about it. So without further ado, here's number one. When you have your biodome, it's common knowledge that you only have a few spots to place your plants. The number of spots depends on whether you're using a ladder or other corridors to connect your dome to other structures, mainly because when you add a corridor to your dome, it removes three available spots. But if you fill up your spots, add a corridor, and then remove that corridor, you can then reuse those three spots that were removed from the corridor. But the kicker is that the original plants remain. You literally plant plants on top of plants. So yes, what I'm saying is that with four possible corridors you can attach to your biodome after you plant a full crop, then remove those, you have up to 12 spots to reuse and then reuse, and you know what, reuse again and again. I'm not 100% sure on how many plants you can cram into a single biodome, but trust me, it's a lot. This is definitely a game changer if you're building in an area that has limited space or limited power supply. 
So there you have it. Five of my favorite tips I love using in No Man's Sky. Okay, if you knew only one or two, hey, that's a win because you learned something. But I still think you deserve a nice C-class patch. If you knew at least three, you're in the B-class club. Knowing four gets you into the elite A-class, and of course, for all the veterans out there who didn't even break a sweat and knew all five cold, then welcome to the Platinum S-class club. Let me know down in the comments below how you did. I'm really curious how my subscriber base did. This will for sure help me plan future videos. And of course, if you like the video, you probably would like these as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Taylor with Whiskey Barrel Gaming, signing off.